Hello. Welcome to Little Smalls International School Basic Six Online Tutorials. Today's tutorial is on English language. English language. Taking from strand two, reading. Sub strand eight, silent reading. Indicator one to three. Indicator one to three. Read and answer questions based on the passage and also find meaning of words as used in context. Read and answer questions based on the passage and also find meaning of words as used in context. Now, before we start, let's look at the two key words here, which is comprehension and words in context. Now, what is comprehension? Comprehension means reading to understand. Comprehension means reading to understand. Contextual meaning of a word is the understanding of how a word has been used in a sentence or passage. Contextual meaning of a word is the understanding of how a word has been used in a sentence or passage. What we mean by this? That as word has been used in a sentence or a passage. I'm going to read this short passage to you and we look at a contextual meaning of a word. Listen attentively. All the school buildings in Asawasi were very weak. After the rains, it fell and killed an old man. It was a pathetic incident that day. A new school block was built to replace the dilapidated one. I will take it again. So listen attentively. All the school buildings in Asawasi were very weak. After the rains, it fell and killed one old man. It was a pathetic incident that day. A new school block was built to replace the dilapidated one. We are going to look at the contextual meaning of pathetic and dilapidated. I will take this sentence again. It was a pathetic incident that day. Pathetic can be replaced with sad as used in this context or sentence. It was a sad incident that day. Now, let's look at dilapidated as used in context here. A new school block was built to replace the dilapidated one. O can be used in place of dilapidated. So let's take the sentence again as we replace it in context. The new school block was built to replace the old one. O has been used in place of dilapidated as used in context here. So children, we are going to look at the steps used in answering comprehension questions. Steps for answering comprehension questions. Step one, read the questions first. Read the questions first. Now, when reading the questions, you need to note some points. Now, let's look at some of the things that we need to note. Underline the keywords in the questions. Underline the keywords in the questions. 
The answer should be in the present tense. Now, let's look at example two. Where was Kwame? Where was Kwame? The verb here is in the past tense. The verb here is in the past tense, meaning because of the words, when answering this question, the answer should be in the past tense. Now, let's move on to step two. Step two, read the passage to us to know the storyline and not for answers. After reading the questions, read the passage just for the storyline, what the passage is about and not for answers. Now let's look at step three. Read over the questions again to get clue to the answers. After reading the passage to know the storyline, go back to the questions and read them again to get clue to the answers. Step four, read the passage again and look out for the following. After reading the questions for the clue, go back to the passage again, read it again to get information from the passage. Now, look for information in the passage as you read. As you read again, look for information to the answers or to the questions as you read. Underline the answers and number them to avoid repetition of answers. Now, as you read over the passage, because you have the questions in your head after going through the questions, as you read the passage, when you come across the answers, try to number them in the passage. Underline the answers. If it is for question one, put question one on top. If it's for question two, put question two on top to avoid repetition of answers. Now, let's look at step five. Avoid lifting of sentences directly from the passage to answer questions. The information that you have used your pencils to underline, don't lift them straight from the passage to answer. Use your own words to form meaningful sentences to answer the questions. Now, the last point is remember your full stop. Remember your full stop. What do we mean here? You are going to look at the stop. The meaning of the word stop. S-T-O-P. Why they said you should remember it. Now let's take the S. S means answer all questions in full sentences. All answers should be in a full meaningful sentence. Now T. The T here, make use of your tenses. Make use of your tenses. That is um, the verb used in the question. If they are in the present, the answer should be in the present tense. If they are in the past, the answer should be in the past tense. If they are in the future, the answer should be in the future tense. So before you answer every question, look at the verb used before you answer. Now, O. O means omit unnecessary information. Omit unnecessary information. That is, do not repeat questions asked in your answers. Do not repeat questions asked in your answers. For instance, let's look at this question. When the boy was riding the bicycle, what did he see? When the boy was riding the bicycle, what did he see? Giving an answer to this question. Don't answer it in this way. When the boy was riding the bicycle, he saw a policeman. No, you have repeated the question in answering it. So it should be, the boy saw a policeman 
ahead of him. The boy saw a policeman ahead of him. Instead of repeating the question to answer the question, avoid it. Now, let's look at the P, which is here. Make use of punctuations in your answers. Make use of your punctuations in your answers. Which punctuations are we talking of? Make use of your comments, your full stop, your question marks, and etc. Use comments to separate objects and things as you are writing. So children, with this explanation and steps used in answering comprehension questions, I'm going to upload these questions below these tutorials. There is a passage there, download with questions, answer them, and put them in your clear bag. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and our next tutorial will be in four days' time. Bye-bye!